My name is Andrew Wilton, and uh, I'm the writer for uh, Cubic Timeline Productions. My name is Patrick Kelly, and I am the CEO and one of the programmers with Cubic Timeline Productions. Our game is Crazy Cat Lady Simulator. And can you give us an overview of the game? Yeah, it's a, it's a satirical life simulation uh, with cats. <laughs> so uh, you uh, play as a character who uh, manages a bunch of cats in their house, and uh, the purpose is to try and uh, collect as many cats as possible without going insane. How big is your team and how long into development is the game currently in? We're about four months into development on Crazy Cat Lady Simulator, and our team is three people in-house as well as one contractor we've worked with for art so far, um, and we are intending to expand the team to additional contractors. The project's been going on for about four months. And uh, what platforms are you hoping to release on, and uh, when are you hoping to release? Uh, well, we're going to be releasing on Steam, uh, for sure. It'll be on uh, PC, uh, Mac, and Linux, and uh, we're planning on doing a mobile port as well. Uh, and we may also look at uh, releasing it on Xbox. Um, our plans for release are to have it out by uh, summer of 2020. And what's one thing you want people to take away from seeing or playing your game? We want people to take away just the general comedy of the game. We want people to come to this and see maybe a little bit of themselves in the game, but also to uh, enjoy the absurdism of it. And can you speak a little bit to like the origin of the game, like how this came to be as to where we are now? We spent about a year researching how to apply genetic algorithms to the gaming space, and this was a, one of our very early prototypes, was a Game Jam project. And after a fair bit of testing and putting projects in front of people, this was the one that people really responded to, and we were all pretty passionate about it. Just it's something we all find kind of an entertaining concept, so we decided to move forward after finding that there seemed to be market interest. Um, can you explain a little bit about the genetic al algorithm here and how it affects how the game is played? Well, my goal was to come up with a way to simulate as close to possible as real-world genetics within the algorithm, and with the idea of using that to inform gameplay to create a feedback loop that the player could really experience the concept around something more complicated with in a way they would understand and after some time we found that the best way to do that is to have the player very much understand where each character is descended from and the cats worked very effectively visually to make the player understand okay this is an ancestor of these parents and we, we were also able to apply that to their personalities and things as well and it encourages the player to maybe selectively breed their cats somewhat. And how does that speak to sort of the narrative that you're building in a crazy cat simulator as far as the gameplay goes? Well we want it to we want the player to really have a unique experience and we want the player to have a concept of a larger world and partly our goal with that is to just have a exceptionally deep pool of possible cats. Um, the Jank algorithm provides us with the opportunity to have an exceptionally large number of visual aesthetics as well as personalities present in the game and grants the player some control over those things instead of them being truly random or procedurally generated in such a way that there would be an optimal path every time. And uh, where can people learn more about Crazy, Lady, or Crazy Cat Lady Simulator? Well, you can follow us on social media. We're on Twitter at Cubic Timeline, as well as on Facebook uh, under the same name, Cubic Timeline. And you can also go to our website, which is cubictimeline.com.